Here's a look at our local numbers now. San Diego has now hit an unprecedented record as county health officials reported the highest single day number of new coronavirus cases. So there were 332 confirmed cases out of nearly 7,000 tests. That's about a rate of 5%. We've been seeing typically around a 3% rate, so quite a bit of a rise there. The total number of cases now stands at 11,626. And sadly, we have six new deaths to report, bringing that death toll total to 347. Questions are growing over whether the progress we've made so far is starting to fade. In News 8's Netta Ranpour is live in Chula Vista with the latest medical advice shared with her by a local doctor. Good morning, Netta. Good morning. Yeah, when you hear a record number of cases in San Diego County, that certainly is alarming. It is alarming to medical professionals. In fact, we just spoke with a doctor, Dr. Abby Olulade from Sharpery Steely downtown, and she says this is certainly worrisome for them in the medical field, and here's why. This is actually real, that the coronavirus continues to spread, and it's now spreading exponentially, which is very concerning in terms of possibly overwhelming our healthcare capabilities and resources. Yeah, they're worried about overwhelming health care resources, places like the emergency room, of course, a concern. So right now what we're seeing is the biggest monthly increase in places like Fallbrook, more than quadrupled there over the past 30 days. Solana Beach and Imperial Beach have seen numbers more than double. Now, the county as a whole has gone up 70 percent between May 25th and June 23rd. We are here in Chula Vista right now, and they just reported 32 cases yesterday. So that's actually a bit of an improvement compared to what they have seen, most likely because of education campaigns that have been targeting areas like Chula Vista throughout the South Bay. And they really started more than a month ago here when they started to see cases spiking. But paces that started off slowly are the ones that are starting to see cases moving up. The total for San Diego County in four days, 1,142 cases of COVID-19. The county's also seen an uptick in hospitalization and ICU rates. Dr. Wilma Wooten, the county's public health officer, saying a significant spike in cases could be traced to periods that followed restaurants opening, churches allowing services, and the mass protests calling for police reform. And she said this could influence the numbers going forward for days, weeks, or even months and among the biggest spike among groups ages 20 to 40 years old. Dr. Olulade says that's likely because people are getting together with friends and family who are not in their households. As young people, this is an inflection point. We're going to look back and ask ourselves, what did the young people of this generation do in terms of um, flattening this curve? And so it's very important that we all take this personally because what we do at the individual level helps our community as a whole. Yeah, of course, county officials cannot reiterate enough that your actions can impact others. So they want to remind everyone, wear those masks, keep that social distance, and avoid gathering in these large groups. Avoid gathering with people outside of your family unit. That's the message all along. And of course, now that we're seeing such high numbers in San Diego County, they really want you to recommit to those safety protocols.